All right, let's now get to the latest from Venezuela, where a day security forces blocked the opposition lawmakers from entering into the building. Juan Guado has now vowed that he will be holding a National Assembly session on Wednesday. Now, speaking at a news conference in Caracas, the opposition leader said that the government has no alternative but to solve Venezuela's economic and humanitarian crisis. El grupo de contacto que llega, eh, si no me equivoco, mañana en la noche o el jueves a primera hora, y la única petición, y le enviamos una carta a eh, la alta representante en la Comunidad Europea para Asuntos Exteriores, Federica Mogherini, es no confundir medios con objetivos. And this move, of course, comes as Amnesty International has said that it believes that the Venezuelan authorities have committed crimes against humanity in their crackdown on anti-government protests. Now, Amnesty International has also urged the International Criminal Court to investigate into this matter. Que en Venezuela se están cometiendo crímenes de lesa humanidad y que se requiere la concertación de esfuerzos precisamente para garantizar los derechos a la verdad, a la justicia y por supuesto a la reparación de miles y miles de víctimas que hoy día están enfrentando en lo cotidiano estas violaciones a los derechos humanos. Now Juan Guaido had tried to incite an uprising against Nicolas Maduro on the 30th of April, but only about 30 members of the armed forces had joined him. Now, since then, Nicolas Maduro's regime has ramped up pressure on Juan Guaido's supporters and allies. Last week, one of the opposition lawmakers was arrested and several also took refuge in embassies, as Nicolas Maduro has begun a crackdown on Guaido's allies. The Venezuela Supreme Court has accused about 14 lawmakers of treason and conspiracy and has said that they'll be prosecuted for that. Meanwhile, Venezuela's former attorney, Luisa Ortega, has urged China and Russia to help oust Nicolas Maduro. China and Russia, along with Cuba, are Nicolas Maduro's main political and trade allies at a time when the socialist leader is facing strong international pressure led by the United States, which actually is meddling within Venezuelan domestic politics to try and prop up Juan Guaido as the president. No, no, no se descarta, y yo no la descarto, la posibilidad de que se le haga un ofrecimiento, de, un ofrecimiento serio, pero tiene que hacérselo. Eh, países como China, Rusia, es que yo, 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 yo sumaría a estos países, imagínate que China emplace a Nicolás Maduro y le diga, mira, tienes que ir.